Hello everyone, thank you for coming today. Welcome to the Association of Indonesian Americans First Indonesian Culture Night, The Noise of Silence. My name is Dylan Janati and I'm your director. Beside me are our producer, Crystal Senro, our stage manager, Cindy Adiwijaya, assistant director, Jason Suteja, and artistic coordinator, Rachel Koh. Yeah. di acara Asosiasi Indonesia Amerika Malam Budaya Indonesia yang pertama Keramaian dalam kesenian Nama, nama, nama saya Dylan Janani dan saya sebagai sutradara di samping saya Produser Crystal Sanro Manager kami panggung Cindy Adiwajaya Asisten Direktur Jason Suteja dan Koordinator Artistik Rachel Koh Before we get started, we would like to do a land acknowledgement. UCLA is a land-grant institution, which means that it resides on land provided by the state of California that was historically the homelands of the Tongva and Gabrielino peoples. They are the traditional land caretakers of the Tavongar, which encompasses the Los Angeles Basin and the Southern Channel Islands. We acknowledge our presence on the ancestral territory of the indigenous people of the Los Angeles Basin. Sebelum kita memasuki acara, kami akan menyatakan pengakuan, pengakuan dan penghormatan akan tanah di UCLA, dibangun di atas tanah orang Tongva sebagai penjaga tanah tradisional Tawanggar yang meliputi lembah Los Angeles dan kepulauan Channel Selatan. Let us please take a moment of silence. Thank you. This year we took the tumultuous task of hosting the first ICN in many years and the first ICN hosted by AIA. AIA was founded in January of 2020 and we strive to create a community for the children of the Indonesian diaspora who have grown up in the United States. Some of us have left and felt the difficulty of connecting to our culture and language. Many of us have intersection ethnicities so the Indonesian American identity itself transcends and transforms from generation to generation. But we wish to join all Indonesians for a celebration of our culture, along with a dramatic look into our silent stories. This production has been a long time coming. It was just an idea during the pandemic when we were all on Zoom and were uncertain of the next time we would be on campus. Even though we spent most of this quarter creating this culture night, we started with our short film, In Isolation, back in August to prove that we have stories worth telling. With that short film, we struggled through the uncertainty of the pandemic, which geared us up for this culture night. We appreciate you all for being here tonight. Without you, we would have no show. This is the culmination of tireless hours of work, ingenuity, and pioneering. Although this show is for only one night, we hope the stories we tell today ring throughout the noise and remain loud long after we draw the curtain. Before we get into our show, please rise for the national anthem.
Without further ado, please enjoy Indonesian Culture Night 2022, Noise of Silence. She'll be back. This is her home. Are you sure? Yes. 
I know she will. Cause we're young and we're reckless, uh, we'll take this way too far. It'll leave you breathless, uh, or with a nasty scar. Got a long list of ex-lovers, they'll tell you I'm insane. Insane! But I got a blank space, baby. And all right, sure. <laughs> hey. Mom? What are you working on? Just a project for my, uh, AP World Literature class. Uh-huh. Taylor Swift, again. Mom, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of T. Swift. Ay, yeah. T. Swift is not going to find you a girlfriend, and I need grandchildren. Mom. I'm getting old, and you're my dweebs already. I'm only 18. So, <laughs> six more years, okay? Only be like twenty, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, by the way, Mom, I left some mail on the counter. See if you need anything, and I'll throw the rest away later. Okay? Why do you always throw away everything? You're the one that just told me you wanted me to get a girlfriend. And Cecilia said that she'd evict us if we kept hoarding too much. Send. Here, look. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Your finger's already on it. Oh, there oh, you go. oh, yeah, yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, it's your tante Lucia. Pick up. What? I've never even. Pick up! Hello. Appa. Cape Bar? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Baggies. Yeah. Uh yeah yeah she's here. Mom, she wants to speak to you. Yati. I tried teaching him. You're the one that wanted me to have perfect English. Yeah. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Duh. Kanapa. Uh, nothing, Ma. Uh, it's just, um... Her son's getting married to, um, Jenny from his, um, SMS oh, That's horrible! Yeah. She doesn't deserve him. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to text your Jaquelin and see what she thinks. Yeah. Uh, wait!
they're addressed to you. It says, your green card application, it's still processing. What? No, 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 no. I need it now. It says it's still, or I don't know. What does this mean? Uh, Mom, shh, mom, shh, mom. Maybe he's okay. My friend's dad had a stroke and he turned out Chris. <laughs> you don't understand. This is America. Of course, a stroke could mean nothing here. But you don't know. I don't know. I don't know how long he has. I have to go back. I'll figure this out. But mom, what if you can't? I'll figure it out. Maybe it'll be done while I'm... I have to go back. Mom, but your papers, they're not ready yet. I think maybe in a few months. No, I need to do this now. Mom, I understand that, but... Chris, you don't. I raised you here so you wouldn't have to understand. So many things happened in Indonesia. What? You've never even told me anything about your life before. You don't need to know. It's the past. There's nothing to understand. I'm going to figure this out. Well, I can help. No, go do your project. Your school is more important. And you don't need to understand. If only I could understand.
Well, I assume you know about the 1998. Uh, there were riots, right? Shops were looted, houses were burned. It happened in uh, April? May. Oh, right. May. I think that's all I know. I was in my brother's auto shop on May 9th, 1998. I heard people yelling outside. They were burning cars on the street. You could smell the burning oil. And bodies. They were killing people in the streets. Our sister was coming home from high school and we were scrambling to get someone to drive her here. We set up a barricade out of metal scraps. We even had iron door. But still, they broke in. We were too busy fighting. And before we realized, we found my sister lying in a ditch. And that's when I decided to leave. And you know, what better place than the US? You know, got my green card from the laundry and packed my bags. being a single mom and making it here to the US, especially with the way people talk. Yeah. Well, I've actually been meaning to ask about her. My mom. I think she's set on going back. Mm. Does she have her green card? That's the thing. Her green card application. It's still processing. Ooh, that's tough. Why does she want to go back? Her father, my grandfather, he's really sick right now. And she wants to visit him before. Before it's too late. Yeah. I see. Well, I could do some research to see um, how your mom would be able to go. Because without the proper papers, she wouldn't be able to. I know. Okay, I'll help your mom out. There has to be a way. Thank you. Of course. Well, I, you know, you can come over, we can do some research, like you said, and, you know, my grandmother, she can make some of her custom golf for us. Ooh, that's actually a brilliant idea. You know, your mom remake makes the best custom golf for a church. <laughs> yeah, she does. Well, I think I'm gonna head to lunch now. Thank you again, Mr. Wajaya. Anytime. For the last time, you can't 
be a citizen if you don't put in the work and, you know, fill out your paperwork correctly. I don't have time. You don't have to work 80 hours a week for my two kids, their dad. I don't want to hear it. It's your fault for choosing to live in Temple City. Do you know how many people work 81 hours and still are able to fill out their paperwork on time? Please, but can you help me? You need to help yourself first before I can help you. Well, how do I help myself? By, by going home, collecting your legal documents, then you can come to me, okay? You're not help. I should have stayed. Well, Mom, maybe you should have. Screw you. because we bought double doll instead of deco tank. It's not our fault that all the sound sounds are so low. What okay. brings you in here today? Uh, well, um... My father had a stroke. Oh, Kasihan. Yeah. And it doesn't seem like he has much time left. Where, where does he live? Samaram. Oh, the Samaram. Do you think you're going to go back? That's the problem. Problem? I got a letter that said that it'll take a while for my green card to process. Well, you can't go back. There has to be a way. No. You know how it'll make us look if you go back. You're only going to make us look bad, seeking asylum here, then going back? This is for my father, though. You know, if you really cared about your father, you would have filled out your paper a long time ago. Why'd you even come here? I thought I already told you that. Tell me the truth. I did. I can't help you if I don't know the full story. So tell me. I was pregnant. Pregnant? Oh. Huh. Yes. And my mom was confused. My dad was angry. I didn't tell them until I got here, but I think they knew. I never told dad until I had Chris. They seemed happy and caring when I left, but it wasn't until my mom came here when she told me how they truly felt. I didn't want to race my son around the discrimination and gossip. So I got to San Francisco and met up with Coco Martin. And he introduced me to you. He told me how you moved here several years ago and you became a lawyer. I still wanted to be an architect here, but you didn't respect my degree from Trisakti. I felt like I was losing everything. My mom, my dad. I brought my mom here, but my father, he was still mad at me. I have to go back. I've built your case, and I've built everyone else's case on how bad the riots back in Indo were. You can't go back. Not with your asylum status. But I promise. I see promises too. Then you should understand. I understand that you were just lazy and didn't fill out your paperwork on time. Lazy? I had to raise a kid. You sound just like the rest of them. I can't help you. If you go back, you're going to be losing everything here. Friend, there has to no. be. And it's Miss Chandra. Please. Get out of my office. I thought we were friends. I'm not friends with a girl who had a kid without a father. Asukoi! It's a 
fifth time I've heard that today.
Indonesian dishes like beef rendang, sate, and nasi goreng. I love going to Simpang Asia with my friends and grabbing a bite to eat to remind me of home. After we finish eating our delicious meals, we drink some es chendol. Yummy! Thank you for catering to our staff crew and cast. The rendang was enak sekali. We appreciate you all and glad we got the opportunity to get sponsored by a great Indonesian restaurant. Please try some of Simpang Asia's delicious Indonesian food by stopping by National Boulevard in Los Angeles or by ordering online. They serve a lot of meat. Alright, we'll be back with our next sponsor in just a moment. Enjoy your permission. Thank you all. I hope you enjoy the rest of the show. It's okay. 
You're my only daughter. You're a strong woman. You're home now. I'm so sorry. I shouldn't have left that day. I'm not home. Don't be sorry. You made your choice. It's up to you for how to feel. What if this was the wrong choice? Life goes on. I made it. I'm back home. Was this the right choice? I'm not here. What? I never left. Bob! I'm not here. You left. You ran. But you're here! I... You let me leave. Why did you let me leave? I knew you'd come back. You're the one who let me leave! Didn't you think that maybe... No. I trusted you, and I trust you. Bob! It's your fault! Lena. You did this to me! Lena. If only you did something! If only! If only! If only! If only, if only I... Did something. Anything. Lena. Jangan menyesal. But how can I not regret? You know. Do I? Tell me. What do I do? Go home. Lena. Yeah, Papa. Goodbye. No. 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 Come back. Please. Papa. <laughs> Sayang. Is everything okay? Keep quiet. I don't want Chris to hear. How are you feeling? Empty. I just lost my husband. My light. I don't know what to feel. I can't even go to his funeral. But you can, Ma. No. <laughs> don't you want to go back? There's nothing left for me over there. I think I should go back. Why? You've sacrificed enough. No, Ma. There's more that I can do. He's gone, Lena. There's no changing the past. I should be there for his funeral. He's gone. I just want to go and say goodbye. No, this is your life now. But if I could see him and just apologize. No, don't throw away your life here. You grew into a strong woman. Stronger than I am and ever will be. And I'm proud of you. When your father and I first got married, we wanted a child who could carry on our legacy. I thought our legacy was going to be built in Indonesia, but... My parents and his parents are people of perseverance. We don't give up. We succeed. People hated us and broke us down, 
but it did not matter. We live. You make me so proud. I didn't know what to expect when you brought me here, and after your brother followed his wife back to Indonesia, I, I didn't know why. I didn't know how you'd survive. But you did. And you raised a son who likes Taylor Swift. <laughs> but a good, honest son, nonetheless. I'm scared, Ma. I regret he'll never forgive me. Don't you think I live with regrets too, Sayan? I loved him too. He wasn't perfect. People are imperfect. I have to do this. No. Don't do this to yourself. I have to know for sure. Some things are better left unknown. I have to know. security stuff, though. Wow. So that's why you stayed. Yes. And. <laughs> and what? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Oh, come on. I was in love with two no! <laughs> yep. I had two lovers. One back in Surabaya, who I've known since preschool. Who made a heart flutter, who picked star fruit with me every summer. My destined soulmate. And Jim. Hundi <laughs> was my best friend. When we were kids, we would hold hands together and explore the city. He knew my favorite flowers were Malati, jasmine flowers. And I knew everything about him. We didn't start dating until we were in high school. He bought a motorcycle selling salto ayam with his father. He would write me letters with beautiful poetry like Charil and Noir. I promised I'd marry him. Yeah. He promised the same. That was right before I left to go to UCLA. Where I met Jim. Jim was the exact opposite of Hundi. I thought I 
like nice guys until I met Jim. <laughs> He made me feel like a woman. He smoked. He he rode a motorcycle all the while working full time at Goldman Sachs, making a six-figure income in the nineties. Jim made me feel loved in ways that Hundy never could. When I left to go back home. I had to make a choice. Study Indonesian law and marry Handi or earn my law degree back in America and marry Jim. Father used to make castengo with me. 
We would buy the flour and the keju from your great uncle Stoko. What's keju? <laughs> the cheese. Oh. Well, tell me more. What was he like? Oh. It's all right, Mom. Here. The duck. It's doo-doo. Oh. <laughs> doo duck. Doo-doo. <laughs> doo duke. Your grandfather and I were going to start a bakery in Smaran, but we never did. Really? Life got in the way. Do you want to go back and visit him? I want to remember him as the kind, peaceful man he was. Why does my mom want to visit him so bad? She lives with more regrets. Well, if she wants to go, I'll find a way. Mr. Wajaya, have you found anything yet? Let me see. Mm, not really. What did you find out from Dr. Lauren? Well, according to Ms. Tondra, there doesn't seem to be a way for us to expedite the green card process, but I couldn't find anything on Google either. Hmm. Have you tried making an expedited request? She's not eligible. Hmm. What about calling the USCIS? We wouldn't be able to get our papers in on time. Are you sure you cannot get the like documents from your mom and hand it to USCIS yourself? What? Like walk in? Yep. I don't think so, but I can ask my mom again. However, last I checked, she already tried that and it didn't work. Damn. She may really just have to wait. Yeah. Where's your mom anyway? She said she'd be home by 6.30. It's 7.30. Hmm. Let me text her. No, she said she's getting groceries. Oh, okay. Wait, she just bought the beef for this rendang. Maybe we just need more food. And this pantry is full. <laughs> Sounds like her. She's always getting too much food. She's for going her. back. What? Uh, we have to get her, come on. Are you sure? Your mom looks like she's sure. <laughs> How will we even know what gate she's at? We'll figure it out. Come on, let's go. Why is she doing this? We'll find out. We'll get her. I, uh, you'll get her. My legs are tired. <laughs> I will.
Mom! What are you doing? I'm going home. Mom, I can't keep trying to stop you. This isn't right. This, you're being irrational. This doesn't make any sense. You know you can't return to the U.S. Chris! Mom, you just need to wait. I even talked with Tante Lauren. You talked with Tante Lauren? Yeah, I... She said that she's really sorry for everything that she said. Well, I have to leave. It's okay. It'll only be for a week. You know that's not true. Chris, it'll be okay. I promise. I know what I'm doing. And I'm going to do it right this time. I'm not going to make the same mistake again. Mistake? What do you mean? This! This was a mistake. I made a promise to my father. I promised him a life. I promised him more than what he had before he... This country. The people. I shouldn't have come. Shouldn't have? Mom, you raised me here. This is my home. Was I a mistake? No, Siam. Never. Then stay. Mom, please. I have to go. I have to. Mom, you know they won't let you come back if you... That's not the point, Chris. Then what is? I need to apologize. Apologize for what? To who? He's gone, Mom. He's gone. And he'll be dead whether you stay or go. You'll never understand. You keep telling me that, but... You'll never know how much I had to sacrifice. I need to do this. No, you don't, Mom. Then what else can I do? Well, for starters, you've never even told me anything about your life before. I don't even know why you're angry when you're angry or why you're sad when you're sad. It just doesn't make any... This will only be, this will only be for a week, okay? I'm just gonna go home to Samara and attend his funeral. Then I'll be back and watch you graduate and be home. Home? Yes, Mom. This, this is your home. It'll only be for a week. You know that's not true. I told Bob the same thing, that I'd only be there for a week for my sister's Mom. graduation. I promised... Mom. It'll only be for a week. Mom. It'll only be for a week. Mom. You know, and we all know, that if you leave, if you leave, there's no going back. Your life is here. Your life in Indonesia died long before he died. And your life continues here. But if you leave, your life here dies. Can you just think about me for one second? I want my mom in my life. But if you leave, there's no seeing me graduate. No seeing me go to college. No seeing me get a girlfriend. No seeing me get a job. No seeing me become an adult. No seeing me prove to you that it was worth it to leave everything behind, face the unknown, come to this scary but exciting place, and you know, actually survive and make it? You won't get to see any of it. Is that what you want? No, 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 Chris, no. It's not the same, but I don't want that. I don't want any of that. Then stay. I want my child to be at my funeral, and I know he'd want the same. You can visit him later. It won't be the same, Chris. I just want to go and apologize. I wish you could have met him. Maybe I can't. He would have been so proud of you. I can be there for you. I could have seen you graduate. I can go there for you. What 
are you saying? Mom, just let me do this. Just once. Are you sure? Yes, Mom. I'm sure. Chris, you don't even know Indonesian. That's okay. I'm sure we have family there. They can help me out. They won't even know you. I don't even know if your grandfather knew you. I'll find a way. You know I've always wanted to go to Indonesia, and I'll figure it out. Okay, maybe. But what about your school? It'll only be for a week. <laughs> He was a good man. He was more than that. He built the Virhana Temple downtown. Wait a minute, dear. Are you... Are you Chris? Uh... Chris Ivendi, your buck on his grandson. Oh. Right? Yeah. That's me. It's a pleasure to meet you, Chris. Mm. How do you know me? Your grandfather used to talk all about you. Really? Yes, he used to talk about you all the time. He used to tell everyone about how he has a grandson living in the U.S. I'm so sorry for your loss. You have my condolences, Chris.
A Kong on the uh, how you doing? You vibing? Cause, Cause I'm vibing. <laughs> no. Hello, Kong Gandhi. Salamat sore. Salamat siang. <laughs> I know you didn't know me. And I didn't know you. I mean, I guess you knew me. You knew me. I don't even know why I'm getting emotional right now. Everyone else was crying, so I guess I thought I should be sad too. It's funny. I shouldn't laugh, but it's funny. I was too late to your funeral, the whole reason that my mom wanted to risk everything. But her family, our family, they helped me. They helped me get to you. Your daughter, she really wanted to be here. I know that you must be sad that I'm here instead. But I pray. I pray that you may rest in peace, that you forgive her. I know it must have been hard to have your daughter never come back, to have been angry and confused when she left, just to never return. For me, I'll get to go back to America. I'll get to continue living my life. I'll get to be with my mom, to hug her, and to be there for her when she needs me. I'm sorry you two never got that chance again, but I'm glad I'm here now. I know I'm not the best replacement, but this was for the best. Even though mom never came back, and I never got to meet you until now, I just wanna let you know that I've had a really amazing life. I'm really grateful for everything that I have. I'm just about to graduate from high school. I'm gonna go to UCLA. And I really wouldn't have wanted it any other way. So I hope you're proud of her. Proud of us. And I hope you understand. I know that you will, but you must understand. Somewhere in this quiet expanse, somewhere in this silence. My producer, my producer Cord, uh, my assistant director Jason on stage, and my stage man manager Cindy Adivijaya.
All right, first we'd like to shout out our seniors in ICN. This is their last year and they certainly went out with a bang. So Crystal, if you would do the honors of saying our seniors. Um, uh, we would like to give it up for Jessica Darmalin. Next, we'd like to recognize our sponsors and funding bodies who have made this production possible. So, without them, this would not be possible. A warm thanks to UCLA Center for Southeast Asian Studies, UCLA Arts Restoring Community Fund, UCLA Board of Directors Programming Fund, UCLA Campus Programs Committee Regular Fund, Tebo do Sosro, Simpang Asia, Medan Kitchen, Indonesian Consulate, and Indonesian Media. Please give it up for them. Special shout out to the 42nd annual Vietnamese Culture Night as many of us in this production were a part of that production and learned invaluable skills to aid in this process. We can't thank you enough for all of your support and your guidance. Thank you. Next, we'd like to thank some people in the audience. Thank you to our videographers and photographers in the audience, Hazel Gunawan. Mid Tram Tran, Austin Lowe, and Emmanuel Ibon. Thank you so much. And thank you to the countless people who have helped co write and edit this script Tanisha Le, Billy Chan. Uh, she was she helped as um, a director before in a previous Indonesian culture night. Vijaya <laughs> for helping um, with our ling linguistic concerns, and Bu Emiko Susilo for your feedback on your on the script and cultural accuracies. <laughs> Thank you to our lighting technician Tyler. would remain unwritten, unseen, and unheard. So thank you very much. Now we'd like to thank our violinist composer, Iputu Suarendana Ichioka, and performing arts group, Seka Ramadja Tsuabdani, for the beautiful and original gamelan pieces that accompanied this story. Unfortunately, we are not here today. And finally, we'd like to recognize the amazing people you saw on stage and those who have worked tirelessly off stage to bring Lita's story to life. So let's all give a special thanks to, first, the folks who made the rooms where the seeds happened, backstage and sound slash lighting. <laughs> certainly were succeeding, our backstage coordinator Jordan Tatag and sound and lighting coordinator Michelle Lay. <laughs> and on 
that note, the amazing a cappella group who sang you Indonesia Raya and the American National Anthem. On that note, with special appearance from Rachel Ko, Dylan Jodani, and Aisha Akbar. The spirits who swept us all off our feet with their swishy salad dogs, our Bali slash Robin Dance components. <laughs> and of course, how can we forget our wonderfully talented, show stopping, dog dropping dance coordinator, Ayu Lasarazzi, and our co-dance coordinators, Tisha Subardi, Tracy Tran, and Kimberly Kang. <laughs> now next, the one who found the resources necessary to fund ICN. These resources being funding gaps, purchases, anything you can name. Our fiscal coordinator, Ansar Fatani, who unfortunately could not make it. Yeah! <laughs> Next, the one responsible for making some already beautiful people look even more beautiful, our photographer and videographer, Hazel Gonawan. <laughs> and now, the absolutely vital visionaries making a variety of graphics that absolutely slay our publicity cords, Dave Satani and Aisha Akbar. <laughs> All right, now the one who sets the mood with big money moves. She's not like other stage managers. Our stage manager, Cindy Adijawa Jaja. <laughs> now the one who has made our aesthetic through the extensive use of resources such as Pinterest, Pinterest, and Pinterest, and of course, you can't forget, Pinterest, our artistic coordinator, Rachel Cole. And then, the foundation of ICN, our rock who shines under pressure, our producer, Crystal Sadro. And on to those who have worked tirelessly to bring Lena's story to life through their she busted acting chops drama. So we will start with our ensemble with our actor playing client Sophia Yao. Davis and <laughs> Davis Law, who played Man and Handy. Played Amanda and Woman. <laughs> and Josh Susanto, who played Jim and Jerry. <laughs> now to introduce our main cast. Uh, Mr. Wijaya, who's played by Ryan Kosasi. <laughs> Next up, we have Miss Chandra, who is played by Sonia Liu. <laughs> now, for some grandparents. We got Pa Andy, who is played by Kyle Thorin. <laughs> Next up, we have Ma Dwee, played by Erica Ndidi. Last but not least, we got our mom of the show. Let's give it up for Alina, who is played by Emily Shafi. <laughs> and we 
got our Chris of the show, Kevin Arifin. But of course, how could we forget? Oh. For real this time, but of course, how could we forget the one who has worked tirelessly to bring the Indonesian American story onto the stage from reactor to creator? Let's all give a special thanks to Billy To our cast, crew, and staff, thank you for your hard work and dedication to this Culture Nights, because without your combined efforts, we would have no production. To our friends, family, and alumni in the audience, thank you so much for your presence and support. And just thank you everyone for being here. This was a long time coming, as we said in the beginning of the show, and we put in so much hard work and effort into this, and we did a lot of this in just one quarter. So. Thank you all so much for being here and having your presence here. Um, I hope this show um, allowed you to think about the noise and the silence, about how we don't talk about things sometimes and how devastating that can be for us uh, mentally and uh, when we think about our past. So I hope you all can take that away and take away anything you'd like from this show because this is a show that's made up of all of us, of all of our stories. Of course, we couldn't have everyone's story here, but I hope some of the themes here resonated. And the idea of home, and the idea of um, re reconciling with what we do in life, and seeing if there are mistakes, or what mistakes even are. So I appreciate, I appreciate you all so, so much. Um, thank you all for being here, and yeah, let's give it up for the cast. Before we end off, I just want to thank my exec team one more time, Rachel Coe! Yeah, yeah. Our artistic coordinator, Rachel Coe, our producer, Crystal Sanro. Yeah. Thank you for putting so much work into this show, and I appreciate her so much, I appreciate you so much. I appreciate you, Cindy Adami Jaya! I'm going to give it up for Jason Sutasia. Yeah. We've been this show last for you for a while, and thank you for coming. Yeah.